Well, today's project is going to be a balancing uh, circuit for supercapacitors. So I found a circuit online. So I'm going to make a PCB, uh, solder this thing up, and see, uh, see if it works. And these are the size of the uh, caps that I got. I think I got these off of a site called uh, BG Micro. It's 2.7 volts at uh, 50 farads. So you want to iron this on. I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. Okay, time to drill the PCB. So I like to drill the holes first and then touch them up with the, uh, the marker. Okay, I think I drilled all the holes. What I like to do is now is to hold it up to a light and you can see the holes a lot easier that way. See if I so now it's time to uh, make the solution to uh, melt the copper off the boards. And I use a uh, one part muriatic acid and then two parts of hydrogen peroxide. So now you should wear gloves and eye protection. Because this stuff is uh, pretty caustic and you don't want to get any on your skin. So put the board in there. And you want to keep this thing moving a little bit. I like to slosh it back and forth like that. So you get fresh uh, chemicals on it. It's going to take about 10 minutes or so. You'll see it clearly when it starts breaking down. It's been about, uh, well, let's see, I started at 648, 653 now. It's so about five minutes, and you can see the edges here. It's starting to, uh, the copper's starting to come off here. So it doesn't take too long. And uh, if you have fresh solution, you can't really reuse the solution. So once you melt one board down, you want to dispose of this stuff and uh, make a fresh batch. So, yeah, you can see it's coming apart there. Okay, it's almost done here. So what I usually do is uh, I pull it out with these popsicle sticks. Like I said, you should be wearing gloves. Be very careful when you do this because it could splatter up on you. I'm wearing glasses right now. I'm just going to put it in the sink here. Run it off with some water. Once you run it off with water, it's safe to touch. There we go. And the next step is dry that off and you put some uh, fingernail polish or you know um, acetone on it and uh, that ink will come right off and you'll see nice shiny, shiny copper trails under there. Now I have a ruler here obviously uh, I drew a straight line. So I scored the copper side first now I'm scoring the back side. I always hold this up to a light so I can see the score mark from the back side and draw a line. Once it's nice and straight, kind of give it an even chop here. I mean, you could put a board on here and just hit the board down, but I'm going to give it a little karate chop here. Okay, yeah, see that's, I'm not scoring it good, but it's still going to be fine. Oops, be careful when you're cutting this thing because sometimes it cut right into a trace. Okay, so there we go. Now to my favorite part, taking the, uh, the ink off with acetone. Take some acetone or fingernail polish. Now this stuff's going to evaporate fast, so you just need a little bit on here. So I'm going to just try to... Pour a little bit on there and close it up as soon as fast as you can. Should wear gloves. See that comes right off. There we go. Good enough for me. Favorite part right there. The ink's off of it. And a little bit of ink on it won't hurt anything because I'm going to go over it with some steel wool to get it nice and shiny before I solder it. But that's it. The board's done for the time being. i got to drill bigger holes here because obviously this is not going to fit in here. Almost. So I'm just going to 
kind of go in with a drill and kind of go at an angle. Oh, it snapped right in there. A little crooked, but I really don't care. That'll work. That'll work nicely. And just go over the board, go over it until it's nice and shiny. Not good. Uh, I got my power supply set for around 12, 13 volts. Um, so let's charge this baby up. I got a 3 amp power supply. Uh, I'm putting the charge on the, right now. So it's sucking up all 3 amps here. It, it should be off. So I don't want to put too much more volts on here because I don't want to overcharge this. Yeah, I, sh I just shut off my power here. As you can see, I have 13 volts on here. This light's on here, so I think um, a, there might be a problem in this area here somewhere. But now, for the fun stuff, let's see what we can do with the charge capacitor. It's a 20 watt, uh, 20 watt bulb here. Let's see how long we can light this for. So I think um, when I have enough uh, capacitors to build another one, I'm going to test each capacitor out and see if it's holding a uh, 2.7 charge. Okay, I'm going to test this um, hand crank generator that I got from Banggood's Chinese site there with my uh, super capacitor um, board right over there. Right now on the super capacitor is like less than a volt, 0.84 volts. So this, this hand crank generator, I'm pretty impressed with it because you don't have to spin it very fast. And it uh, cranks up the uh, current pretty fast. So here I'm going to demonstrate this here. When you first start, it's, it's rather hard here. But after I got about 8 volts in it, it got easier to turn. But you can see I'm turning with one finger, so it's not really that hard to do here. I've already got 2 volts on it. It's already at 5 volts, it's already easier to spin now.